Hey what's going on guys and girls, in today's video I'll be doing a review of ChatSonic. So ChatSonic is a chat GPT alternative created by WriteSonic which is an AI copywriting tool. Essentially ChatSonic promises to allow you to generate the same types of content that you can generate with ChatGPT but they also state to have some unique benefits, features and use cases that aren't currently available on ChatGPT. So in today's video, we'll be doing a full review of ChatSonic. I'll be taking a look at the features, functionalities, the use cases, and I'll also be comparing the quality of output in which we get back from ChatSonic compared to ChatGPT. So let's get started with the review. As I mentioned earlier, ChatSonic promises to have some unique features and benefits that aren't currently available on ChatGPT. And these features are integrated Google search for the latest information. So as most of you already know, ChatGPT, the AI is only trained on information up to the summer of 2021. So this feature on ChatSonic allows you to get the latest and most relevant information from Google. So that's a really, really nice um, benefit that is included, especially if it works well and you're actually able to get some of the latest latest and most relevant information. The next feature that's included in um, ChatSonic that isn't included in ChatGPT is AI image generation. So we can actually ask the AI to generate an image for us and it will generate that image right within the chat box. Next up, you have voice commands. So you don't need to type out your inputs. You can actually just um, tell the AI exactly what you want it to generate and it will generate that content for you. Also, the AI remembers past questions or comments in your conversation and can easily answer follow-up questions. This feature is already included in um, ChatGPT. And there's also a text-to-speech feature that's included. So again, you can uh, do voice commands. And they've made it very easy for you to edit, copy, or download, or share a specific response or even the entire conversation with your friends, colleagues, families, and followers. So with ChatGPT, you kind of have to copy the input and then paste it into a separate Google Doc. But on ChatSonic, it'll be very easy for you to share the outputs in which you're getting back. And lastly, you can change the personality of the chat box. So if you're generating some specific content, um, let's say if you're a fitness trainer or a teacher and you want to use um, that specific use case, you can change the model of the AI so that you're getting much, much more relevant content. So as you can see, there's some really unique benefits that's included in ChatSonic that we don't currently have on ChatGPT. But again, the proof is in the pudding. So let's actually go ahead and use this tool and see how these features and these new use cases play out. And also each month, I'll be giving away a new AI tool or software on my Discord. If you would like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is join our Discord. And each month, you'll be automatically entered for the free giveaway. And I'll also be releasing some exclusive deals and information on this Discord that you can't find anywhere else. So again, if you would like to join, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. So once you have a plan for ChatSonic, this is what your dashboard will look like. Very intuitive and very easy to use. All you would have to do is enter the prompt or the command within this toolbar section, and then the AI generated content will be popped up in this chat box. And if you're unsure as to how to use ChatSonic, you can watch a demo or you can get some inspiration of examples in which you can do. So you can write factual content on the latest topics, including today's news. So we can ask the AI um, who won the FIFA World Cup in 2022, and it should be able to give us that information. We can create digital artwork. We can give voice commands. We have use cases such as emails, articles, essays, ads, social media posts, answers, product reviews, etc. So again, because this is sort of like ChatGPT, we have those AI copywriting features included. But as you can see here, we have some other features included. So let's go ahead and actually ask the AI to write us a paragraph on who won the FIFA World Cup um, of 2022. Okay, so I've asked the AI to write a paragraph on the final game of the FIFA World Cup and state who won uh, in 2022. So let's go ahead and click enter. And again, the personality of the AI is set to general. And again, if you wanted to just change that on for your specific use case, you can always make that change. So this is the um, output in which we got back. And as we can see, it's actually very, very relevant. It gives us a score of the penalty shootout. It gave us the score of the um, overall game before penalties, and it actually gave us a little bit of a paragraph about uh, what happened within that game. So this is a very, very good content here. Again, very high quality, but also very relevant because it is including the latest Google data. So that's a nice um, toucher that's included by ChatSonic. And also, if you wanted to, we can tweet this. We can share this on Facebook or LinkedIn. Uh, you can give it a thumbs up if you like it. You can also edit it in the Sonic editor. So if you actually wanted to compose a long form article, you can head that over to your editor. You can download it 
you can text to speech. So that means uh, you can have the AI actually read this out for you if you are visually impaired. So that um, is good for anyone who needs that type of feature. You can copy that and then you can actually edit um, that output. So as you can see here, we actually have some really nice um, features included by uh, ChatSonic that really isn't included right now uh, for ChatGPT. I think ChatGPT is more focused on generating the highest quality outputs and you know some of these features will come as they continue to grow. So now let's give the AI personality mode a try. The first content which we generated was generated using the general AI model, but we can also use the English translator, interviewer, travel guide, stand-up comedian, motivational coach, relationship coach, poet, philosopher, career counselor, personal trainer, and accountant. So again, a variety of different um, personalities in which you can choose from. For this example, we'll be using the travel guide. So I've asked the AI to write a paragraph on the best places to visit in Qatar 2023. So again, let's um, see if we can uh, get some relevant information here that's also modeled for a travel guide blogger. Okay, so this is the output in which we got back. Pretty um, decent outputs. So we actually got some places um, that you would like to travel if you are visiting Qatar. Now, something to note is that if you're using a different personality mode, then you cannot include the latest Google data. The only way in which you can include the latest Google uh, data and get the most relevant content is by using the general AI. So let's try this again. And I'm going to ask the AI to do the same um, output but this time I'll have it include the latest Google data. So these were the outputs in which we got back. I don't think there was much difference um, when we included the latest Google data. I think if you're writing about specific facts and maybe you would be able to get better uh, data when, when it comes to sort of like more um, nuanced content in which you're looking that's updated, I don't think you'll see a big difference if you've uh, chosen to use the latest Google uh, data. Another feature included in ChatSonic is the ability to generate images using the chat box. So for instance, I can ask the AI to create an HD image of Superman kicking a soccer ball in space and it should um, go ahead and create that image for us. Okay, so the AI has went ahead and created those two images and um, just from looking at them, they're actually pretty good. We see Superman, we see the soccer ball and we see that uh, they're in space. There is some uh, distortion in the face. And if you really kind of look at the image, it does look a little bit off, but um, just from sort of looking at it uh, from a bird's eye view, it's still not a bad image. Um, and it is a nice touch that you're able to generate images very quickly using this AI. And the other cool feature included in Write Sonic is the ability to do a voice search. So all you would have to do is click on the microphone on the right hand side here and give the permission to Chat Sonic. And as you can see, Chat Sonic will start listening to what you're saying and you can uh, prompt the AI by using the voice feature. So if you don't want to type, if you just want to be able to speak and have the AI listen and generate your content, you can use this feature. Write a paragraph about the latest Apple MacBook and click enter. And as you can see, the AI um, will start writing that content out for us. So again, another cool feature included by ChatSonic um, just makes this tool a lot more user friendly and easy for everyone to use and um, does make it a lot more accessible as well. And just like how you have the ability to write content in different languages using ChatGPT, you can also do that with ChatSonic. So I've asked it to write a paragraph in French about how the economy works. And as you can see, we got a paragraph in French and I've went over and copied this and pasted it into Google Translate. And as you can see, it has written that paragraph and it does make sense, but actually talked about the economy in France. So um, it really didn't pick up the context in which I was talking about. And I'm pretty sure if I were to do the same output on ChatGPT, that I would be able um, to get a paragraph in French about the economy, not about the France economy. So that's, that's a little bit of a difference that I find within these two tools. Um, ChatSonic is a pretty good AI um, chat box, but ChatGPT is just so much more powerful. But again, you have a lot more features included in ChatSonic that makes it a lot more user friendly. So overall, I really like the features and integrations um, that ChatSonic has added onto their chat box. They've been really thoughtful in creating uh, the most intuitive and accessible um, AI chat box that's in the market at this time. So I would definitely recommend you giving them a try. 
uh, for yourself. You can get a free trial from their website and you have about 25 inputs in which you can do per day. So you can really go ahead and play around with this tool for yourself and um, see how it compares to ChatGPT. Now, if you want me to do a full comparison between ChatSonic and ChatGPT, where I uh, put in some inputs and I compare the quality between the two, I can definitely do that. Um, but let me know in the comments below if that is something that you'd be interested in. And I can do a little bit of a more detailed comparison between ChatSonic and um, ChatGPT. I know right now it doesn't really make sense to invest in a chat box, um, especially when you have ChatGPT that is completely free. But most likely ChatGPT will um, have a paid plan coming soon. And um, that's when you really need to start thinking about if you would like to invest in another tool compared to ChatGPT. But again, if you would like to give ChatSonic a try, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.